So I want to share a little bit now about unlocking your voice and birthing a revival movement through writing. And I want to share some more testimonies that people have done that so it can prophesy. And um, this is a lot of you guys, if you know me, you've already seen who this woman is, Carrie Judd Montgomery. Um, I spent four years in England doing my writing on her life, but we're talking about, you know, birthing a revival movement through writing. Here is a person who birthed a revival movement through her writing. She had a radical healing testimony in the 1800s was healed in bed for three years, um, prayed the prayer of faith in James five, got up and was healed. And this is at a time when people thought it was good to suffer as unto the Lord. And she's, she actually felt like she had a calling and a mission upon her life for more. And so she, you know, prayed the prayer of faith, got healed and then stewarded her testimony um, in this little book. And this is the original copy of her book in 1880 called The Prayer of Faith. But at that time in evangelicalism, People believed if you were sick, the way to honor God was to patiently endure that sickness and die with patience. They didn't believe God healed. They didn't believe in that at that time. Most people in Christianity and evangelicalism until this book got around this book, 40,000 copies within a few years got translated in multiple languages. People would read Carrie Judd Montgomery's testimony in this little book where she stewarded her testimony in writing and they would read it and say, oh my gosh, God healed her. God can heal me too. And so they prayed and ask God for healing and many people were healed. And this actually revolutionized Christianity as we know it today. It was a tipping point for evangelicalism to actually go from God, um, he doesn't heal to God is good and he wants to heal. And uh, people would read this and have courage and, and pray and get healed. And the craziest thing is now, even today, I've run into people when I was doing my PhD research that told me they read the book and they got healed when they were reading it. Wow. Um, 1880, she's dead. Carrie John Montgomery is dead, but her book is still releasing healing to this day. That is powerful. This is not a big book. This is a testimony, but it's small. It's not that, it's not that big guys. Um, we don't know what's going to happen when we steward our testimony in a book, um, for generations, not just this generation. Some of us here are so, um, so much pioneers that we're actually writing for generations who have yet to be born. I know for me, there's some things I'm writing that, that may not take off until I'm dead. Um, and that's okay. God's in charge of the result and the impact and the fruit. I'm just in charge of stewarding the message he's called me to cultivate. And so there's Carrie Judd Montgomery. Her book is still releasing revival, still releasing healing, even though she no longer is with us. That's inspiring, guys. Oh, yeah.